Sato wrote, Music gives a soul to the universe, wings to the mind, flight to the imagination, and life to everything. Janet Nine understands this. Her life is deeply rooted in music and the arts. Well, my parents were very adamant about art and music because they were both involved. My dad taught piano at home, so there was always music in the house, live music. And as far as an inspirational turning point for music was probably when I was 10 or younger, and I was encouraged to attend one of our local convocations. We sat in the balcony and this statuesque woman came on stage, walked center stage, opened her mouth and projected the most incredibly chest-pounding sound. It was Marian Anderson, and that was my first introduction and the standard by which I then gauged good vocal music. I'm passionate about the arts because I feel that art is the color of everyday life and music is the soul to everyday life. After more than 35 years in the New York City area, Janet and her husband John, a 1963 Purdue graduate, moved back to Indiana to be closer to their children. Fearing there would be an artistic vacuum left by the relocation, she was delighted to learn there was artistic life beyond the Big Apple. The American Pianist Association was my salvation when I moved from Morristown, New Jersey to Carmel. Early in our relocation, we were invited to an evening that the APA referred to as Great Homes, Great Music. And it was at that point that I decided the APA was going to be my volunteer organization. At the same time, I met Joel Harrison, who had just moved to Indianapolis. He was artistic director at the time, and we clicked. So now I, I am kind of board member on call and do what's ever requested. Craig Gigak, the owner of Meridian Music in Carmel, became a good friend through our affiliation with the American Pianist Association. We both were board members for a number of years, and our friendship just continued to develop from that. And actually, he was the person responsible for me getting my Steinway B. And over the years, we've had numerous conversations about various pianos. And he had indicated that Purdue was in dire need of a concert instrument, a reliable concert instrument. So it didn't take long. The ingredients between Purdue needing a piano, Craig needing to sell pianos, developing a relationship with Purdue as a venue for our winners, it just seemed like the perfect cocktail. Why a Steinway? Most music conservatories and music schools have Steinways. They are Steinway schools. You hear from the professionals that Steinway is the most versatile instrument. And from those same professionals, you hear that it gives them a large toolbox from which to work and only emphasizes their talents. Well, my relationship with Janet is extremely special. She's like a second mother to me. You know, when you are in the middle of a competition process, it's oftentimes enormously stressful. And she did her best to provide for me, to care for me. And she's also been supportive after the competition process in helping me succeed and pursue my dreams. So uh, without her support, I, I don't think I would be where I am today. I was in hopes Eric would be available for our selection process that occurs at 
the Steinway factory in Astoria. And I didn't want just anybody to be selecting the piano. I wanted someone who could relate to me and to Joel Harrison, who was along on the selection process, and to Todd. And Eric was the obvious choice. As an artist in particular, uh, it's so important when you go out on stage to have an instrument like this that's capable of producing all kinds of sounds, all kinds of expression. You have a concept in your mind as an artist when you go out on stage, and it's oftentimes frustrating when you can't reproduce what's in your head, the vision that's in your head. So when you have an instrument like this that's capable of so much, it allows you the freedom to be able to fully express your artistic vision. And the search involves selecting from five concert grants that are all prepped and ready to go. You are in a single room, and Eric went from one piano to another, giving it a workout to see how they reacted how temperamental the action was, what kind of sound, especially in the soft registers, what kind of sound would come out of the upper treble and what kind of great bass they had. And of the five instruments that we were given to choose from, of course, this particular instrument is the one that fit the bill and it has a lot of nines in its number. What made this piano my particular top choice was the incredible range of expression. Uh, it has a very deep, warm bass sound that's capable of projecting. At the same time, it's very intimate, so you're able to create those nice, soft, beautiful colors that pianists want to be able to, to create. So it gives a pianist all kinds of tools to create something that's really special. As part of their gift to Purdue, the Nines will also underwrite a series of concerts from 2015 to 2025, showcasing the American Pianist Association Classical and Jazz Fellowship Award winners. Having people like Janet and John Nine supporting the arts and supporting music is so important, especially these days um, there's no public funding anymore for arts, or very little public funding for arts. And so, in order for something like this to continue and to succeed, it takes private patronage, people who really believe deeply in promoting the arts. And so they have been instrumental to the American Pianist Association. They've been incredibly helpful in my own life. And they continue to do absolutely wonderful things uh, for the arts in general. I'll tell you, the feedback that we have received from having gifted this piano has been amazing. It's been amazing from Purdue staff and just from Purdue alum. And I'm delighted in whatever way possible the piano will expand people's horizons. Great artists require great instruments. Thanks to Janet and John Nine, over the next several years, we will be able to transform the range of artists and performances we host at Purdue.